Hey what's up my dokus, Jason here welcome back to more Yisei Lacrimosa of Donna. Red haired adventurer, apparently we earned a trophy. Anyway, last time we went, we uh, saw the demise of a certain person. Yes. And through it, we have been searching for the killer, the Nameless Ripper. And we've actually figured it out that Dr. Kiergaard has to be the Nameless Ripper. And this time, we look for him and make him confess. Well, well, well. Look, here he is. Oh, hello, Admiral. Something the matter? Why so serious? Has someone else been hurt? Nice weather we're having today, Dr. Kiergaard. <laughs> Thank God for that, huh? Now, I don't have to try to apprehend you in the rain. <sighs> oh dear, oh dear. Officer, you're on. You never got the chance to rendezvous with your partner on the ship, did you? I knew it. You're the bastard who killed him. Here, guard. Or should I say, the Nameless Ripper? <laughs> so it was you, Doctor. But why? Bravo! Simply beautiful. Oh. Huh. When this began, you castaways were perfect strangers to one another. But look at you now. Look how your bond and trust has flourished. All for the sake of survival. Beautiful, beautiful. There is no better way to describe it. The hell are you talking about? Consider, if you will, an opposing perspective. Had we not washed ashore, had I not made myself a threat, that beauty would have died in the womb. That's absurd! Don't listen to this lunatic. He's a serial killer. Come quietly, Dr. Kiergaard. This is a deserted island. There is nowhere for you to run. Hmm. Ah! Whoa! Ah! The world needs one such as I to exist. Your unjust treatment is the real cruelty! Damn, he's getting away. At all, pursue him at once. Paro, follow Dr. Kiergaard and report his whereabouts to Adol. Roger, I tell you where Kiergaard is. Good boy, we're counting on you. Hera will guide you along Dr. Kiergaard's escape path, at all. Please listen to him accordingly. I see. Not bad, Captain Barbaros. Once Doki and I take care of things here, we'll be right behind you. But what about your wounds? This is far more important. If we lose sight of Kiergaard, he'll pose an even greater threat to us. I want Doki and the others to guard the village. The rest of us will pursue him. Understood. But please don't push yourself. This is nameless we're dealing with, Adol. Be on your guard at all times. Indeed it is. And what say we go after him? Hummel, you wanna come along? Wasn't the clinic was that wasn't that the clinic doctor who just ran by? So he's the nameless ripper. Makes sense, I suppose. 
Hmm, if you're going after him, I won't be in your... Then you won't be in my way. Forget what I just said. It doesn't concern you. Okay, whatever. Gerard, east! East! Huh? Sounds like he's heading east. Let's hurry, Addo. Alright, let's do as Pero says. We gotta head east. Just keep going past these enemies and we'll make it there. No problem. Straight ahead. Here, guard. Up ahead. Brace yourself, Adol. We finally caught up. Where's that nameless son of a bitch? We haven't found him yet. I believe Pero is still looking for him. Looks like he came back! Found girl! Found girl! A girl? What's he talking about? Huh? Look. or she'll be beast chow. We can't afford to lose any more survivors. Capturing that lost little urchin. Uh, use that kid as bait. Underhanded cur. How dare he! We gotta treat the captain's wound. I wouldn't waste your time. I'm all but certain his femoral artery has been sliced clean through. Even if you treat his wound right away, his odds of survival are... Grim, at best. No. I don't, please. Dr. Kiergaard. No, nameless. Capture him. Captain? Drowsiness is a well-known symptom of exsanguination. That makes two victims now. If you bother to count, Sir Carlin, of course. <laughs> and now I shall take my leave. Get back here! I knew you'd be the one to pursue me, adult. I could see it in your clear eyes, the passion burning deep inside you. And when I first met you, I could tell at that exact moment. You are a worthy target. You have your sights set on Adol now? I didn't expect the other castaways to survive long on this island. I thought they would fall prey to beasts once despair set in. 
Or they would fight amongst themselves after all semblance of order had broken down. I was wrong. You, the captain, and the village have given them hope. Everyone has begun to work toward the common goal of escaping this island. It's just so beautiful! It would be so tragic if something terrible were to happen to you or the captain. Why, the mere thought sends a quiver down my spine. That's why you attacked the captain? And why you're going after Adol? Not just them. That stuffed shirt Carlin. And that little girl, too. You've done terrible things no man should ever do, Doctor. Who are you to tell me what I should and should not do? As one who bears the burden of evil, I took the only normal course of action. Well... Yes. I am the counterpart to a paragon of righteousness such as yourself, Ad. People can only advance when they have land to tread on. Progress cannot be made without two diametrically opposing forces. Good and evil. With these concepts, we give meaning to society and history. Do you think the world as you know it would still exist without evil? And yet, the existence of evil is seen as a blight to be purged without hesitation. Does that not seem... Irrational to you? You're insane. Never thought I'd meet anyone who was rotten to their core. Never expected this conversation to result in mutual understanding between us. After all, a conflict between good and evil is inevitable. Guess we're fighting our way out of this one. We cannot afford to lose you, Adol. Let's face him together! History only concerns itself with the results. Therefore, in the name of evil, I will rip my way into the pages of history. Come! The doctor will see you now! Alrighty, time for a battle against Kiergaard himself. Kind of a weird battle, but we'll do it anyway. Just gotta keep attacking him. Kinda gotta wait till we can get him dazed before I try to do an extra skill. He's actually kind of kicking my ass, not gonna lie. Yeah, this might not be good. He is really kicking my ass. Alright, um... Oh, I didn't use my extra skill. Whatever.
How are you still standing? You're more resilient than I expected. I didn't think a mere adventurer, was it, would pose such a challenge. But this island is the perfect breeding ground for evil. I've no intention of letting things end here. No, he's gonna get away. Whoa! Steel wire trap. We cannot blindly rush him. Damn, how prepped is this guy? <laughs> Next time will be much more fun. Now then. What? The primordial? was unexpected. Yes, things certainly took a turn just now. We must hurry back to the captain right away. Let's go, Adol. That's right. We gotta hurry. You're back. Adol, it would seem your battle with Nameless is over. How's the captain doing? Well... It's just as Nameless said. The wound is indeed fatal. I'm sorry. No! There must be something we can do! I'm sorry, Laxia. I know I told everyone that we'd make it off this island alive. Don't say that. Hang in there, Captain. You promised we'd all see our families again. Think of your daughter. I'm sorry, Salad. I guess I can't keep that promise. Ugh. Th this just ain't right. I'm sorry, but I need you to do something for me. One last promise. Please, you must get everyone off this island alive. I know you can do it, Adol. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Their fate is in your hands now. Damn it. Captain Barbaros! 